Hello guys, uh, what I have here is a um, um, build of Pan Rally that's working with a different um, a set of car prefabs uh, that I got working from uh, a neat uh, vehicle physics pack called Edis Vehicle Physics. We're not going to bundle this pack with our pack because it's a paid one, I do have it, and I'm just going to show in this video how easy it is to adapt any car prefab you have to work uh, with Pun Rally. So um, I'm gonna start the game in the editor here as well so we can show it working on multiplayer um, with the different cars. So uh, I already started the room here and um, I'm just gonna join from the editor here um, and uh, the second car, the blue one, uh, it's gonna be the car that I set it up for using the different prefab. I'm going to show it in a minute inside the editor. So uh, here you can see it's the different uh, car prefab and um, this is not only um, a visual prefab but also the whole physics pack here is from Eddie's um, custom package. It's it, I'm not using our own physics at all. This is a completely different one and um, as you can see the multiplayer part is working fine I'm just gonna reach the other car here so I can show you the collisions are working and in synchronization is working as well. So, uh, oh yeah, there it is. I'm gonna just bump on it. Yeah, yeah, it's it's working nicely. Even the vehicle deformations that comes come with Eddie's pack seem yeah they are working as well. See the car is all bent. Um, so yeah, let's see how this thing works. Um, so uh, Eddie's Physics comes um, with these nice prefabs for cars and what I was interested in is that they have a custom input script and um, what I did to have it working in our game was um, I replaced one of our prefabs that are inside the resources folder for Eddie's prefab but I removed Eddie's uh, custom input and I replaced it by this input here that I'm gonna show. This is the only script I had to modify, uh, to uh, in, uh, heavily modify to have this thing working on Pan Rally. So this is the standard car race control that comes with uh, uh, Pan Rally. Um, this is a standard photo views. Uh, watching a uh, network car which is also the, the which is the standard network car that comes bundled with Pan Rally. I didn't have to remove uh, to modify anything on these scripts. I had to do a very uh, small modification on Cargi because Cargi uh, relied on car controller which is one of our custom scripts to get the speed of the car I modified it to get the speed straight from the rigid body so it didn't need uh, the car controller because uh, vehicle physics doesn't have our custom car controller it has its own vehicle controller that uh, works uh, basically in the same way so um, what is this car input that I did the, the thing is that let's let's take a look or on the at the ordinary uh, car input from um, Pun Rally. I, I did a slight modification which is um, a car input has two uh, roles here. If this car is a local copy of the car it um, the controllable um, attribute is going to be true and um, it's going to be a bunch of things which which are here which is basically get the input from the player because it's it's a local car. And um, if it's not a local car, it's a network car, so we don't have to get the input from the player because the network car script is going to get this input from the network and set it here for us. But in either versions of the, the, the copies, instances of the car, either a local copy or a remote copy, we need to apply the input on the controller. So um, what I did was I put these two parts of the code in two different methods so I could inherit from this class and, um, and have a new version of it made especially for Eddie's vehicle physics but I just needed to add like uh, maybe four lines of code on it. So um, 
Actually, the whole class is going to be the same if you take a look at car in the new car input, which is car input at this vehicle physics 5. It inherits from car input, as I'm highlighting here uh, on the mouse. And the only difference is that on the, I override, override the apply input on controller because instead of applying the input on the on our normal standard car controller, I'm applying it on vehicle controller, which is the controller from Eddie's vehicle physics. So this is the only difference on this script. Um, it's the input. We still get the same input from the user for a local car, but in, uh, in a network car as well. The difference is that when I apply the input to a controller, I'm going to apply it to a different controller. This is a neat solution because this is the only script that I have that's new. I'm going to do this modification here for the next update anyway, so it's going to be easier for you guys to do the same thing with different vehicles. And I'm going to include this new version of um, Cargi that also relies on rigid body instead of car controller to get the speed. So it's going to be pretty easy to do the same thing. The neat part is that this way we can even have like different cars um, that have different physics from different packs and they work nicely all together. So uh, this is the car that I modified. It, it's, it's a prefab from Eddie's pack. The only thing is that I added like network car, car input, car race control, car gear and photon view. And the car input is a custom version for working with vehicle controller instead of our normal car controller. But the other prefabs here are our normal car prefabs that come bundled with a uh, pun rally. It's pretty neat because using this inheritance here, um, uh, it's nice because I had some parts of the code that needed to uh, enable or um, set some attributes on car input. And it doesn't matter if it's the superclass car input or this the the inherited class car input EV, EVP5. Uh, this code here, this get component, this generic get component here, is gonna get the version that's in the prefab, and it's gonna work for both. So this is the the neatness of the solution. So um, I hope you understood. I'm gonna add this couple of scripts. To the forum so you guys can uh, try to do the same th thing for your own um, for your own projects okay see you